is my favorite part of my workout. <laughs> this is the massage. Here we go. In three, two, one. See ya. You can tell them that I'm coming for them. Tell them that I'm coming. God send me, ain't no turn around. What's going on everybody? Welcome, my name is Eric Bland. How did we become yes people, right? How did we become a yes business? A lot of times we became a yes business because we needed the business, let's just be honest. Customer calls us, can you get here at six o'clock in the morning? Yes. Can you do it at this price at our other window cleaner that doesn't show up anymore and you did a terrible job? Yes, we can do it for the same price. Uh, can you do it uh, once a month? Yes. And all of a sudden you start thinking, I did it for once a month. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Uh, also, not only did I do it for once a month, I also did it at the same price as a Bucket Bob, and this place really shouldn't be $25, it should probably be $65, $70. And then you become a yes person, right? And we become yes people because we do need the business, and a lot of times we need the business so bad that we just do about any kind of price on it, and that's what Bucket Bob does, and we don't justify it in ourselves about how we really need to start quoting these these customers and we get so nervous for some reason on the phone with the with our customers we we get so nervous don't we oh uh, well uh, mr. customer uh, I don't know if we can do it for that but you're thinking in your head but yeah 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 I'll do it because uh, yeah I, I need that extra $25 man that's tough because you'll catch that $25 right now and you'll make that $25, which is fantastic. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. But you, you get that $25, and then after that $25, after you end up paying for that, and I say paying for it because you're initially paying for it, you're gonna have another customer call you and say, in a couple months maybe, and say, hey, can you do, this is just a sweet car. Can you get this? Apologize for me grabbing the camera here, but look at this car coming up. How cool that thing is. It's an Audi. It's an Audi TT. That paint job on that sucker. That thing is sweet. I'm not a big like car kind of guy like that either, but that's just sweet. Oh, he's making noises. Anyways. Sorry about that. You can kind of hear him take off. It's kind of cool looking car. But yeah, we don't want to become yes people. I mean, that is super hard and super difficult for us uh, to be able to become that. And when we're yes people, I'm telling you right now, it's very tough and very uh, difficult to get out of being a yes person once you become a yes person. Does that make sense? And so since we did that, and since we're there and we're yes this and yes that and oh my gosh it was terrible now in the in the mix of that just to let you know I'm cruising down the way here through Pontiac Michigan and in front of me just there was a drug deal which if I <laughs> would have <laughs> actually hit the camera the opposite way you would have just seen this as we call it grab and go um, car pulled over to the side real quick hand in hand out and away they both went <laughs> That was incredible. But um, but anyways, nonetheless, welcome to Southeast Detroit, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Southeast Detroit, Michigan. Well, anyways, uh, one of the things that we have to specifically remind ourselves is that we own the business and the customer does not. We are the professionals. They're the one calling us. We're the professional. So let's show them the professional side and show them what professionals are paid and let's show them that hey it's okay that a customer has to pay a little bit more money it's okay it's not a problem so i love you guys hopefully this helped got to see a cool car didn't get to see the drug deal which was kind of sad but i love you guys have a great day see you guys